Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. This AFC West divisional matchup featuring two great quarterbacks. One, an older vet. The other, a young gun. It's Phillip Rivers going up against Derek Carr. For the call, let's send you out to the broadcast booth where we'll join our commentators, Brandon Guyton and Charles Davis. All right, Larry, after an off-season of questions, football is back here in the East Bay and Oakland, California. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the San Diego Chargers and the Oakland Raiders. And hello again, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon here in the booth. And, Chuck, you take a look at this matchup. I don't know if it's going to be one in the trenches from the quarterbacks out, whatever. It's going to be a good game. Oh, without a doubt. I can't wait to see the big fellas have an impact. We're always spotlighting those wide receivers and quarterbacks and running backs and even the defensive backs. But the big guys, I can't wait to see which one tilts the balance for their team. They're not co-tenants yet, far from it, as the Raiders and Chargers are underway. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and he'll take over at the 25. So here's the Charger offense making their way out. They'll be led out by the veteran quarterback out of NC State. It's Phillip Rivers. I'm actually old enough to remember him hitting the league, and so many people are talking about his throwing motion at the time. A little bit unorthodox. No one talks about it anymore except in admiration. The ball gets to the target really well and usually with big production. second-year man. It's Melvin Gordon. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. A nice run there, nine yards. And it'll be second down. Melvin Gordon's rookie year was a far cry from his last season at Wisconsin, wasn't it? Boy, it was. Yeah, we got the numbers right here. Three and a half yards per carry, 641 yards, no touchdown. Well, I think his team is really looking to do things to help him break out and get back to that Wisconsin form in 2016. Now a second down throw for Rivers. And that's complete to the right side. It's Allen. Two yards on the pick up there, but it's enough to give him a new set of downs. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Now Gordon on first down. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to him back. Four yards remaining now on second down. Now Rivers going to give to Gordon on the draw. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. Just a yard on the pick up there, and it'll leave him with a third and three. And the big boys up front in the trenches. What do you think of the O-line, Charles? I love them because this is a group that's so cohesive. They know what the man next to them is going to do at all times, and they operate as a terrific unit. Three yards left to grab here on third down. From the gun, Rivers. It's caught, Jones. And he brings this up to the 46, good enough for the first. The goal of every offense is to move the chains, pick up first downs. A nice job finding an open receiver for a completion. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. A 
first carry for the vet, Danny Woodhead. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. Well, the person carrying the ball is always the easy target when things aren't going so well. But I think it's a combination with the Chargers. They've got to get the offensive line going in order to improve those numbers from last year. They weren't very good running it, partner. No, they were bottom of the AFC, second to last in the entire NFL. Rivers now on second down. And right side, Henry's got it. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. So not much to speak of scoring-wise in this first quarter of play. Nothing, nothing, our score. And we're back to Oakland after this. The NFL on EA Sports is brought to you by Head & Shoulders. Shoulders were made for greatness, not dandruff. Back now to begin the second quarter with Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon. It's the Chargers here with a football. And they're driving, but they come up on a third and short here. It's been a seven-play opening drive, and this is third and short. They'll try and run it. Here's Gordon. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. So they pick up the first down after the run, and now they approach for the fresh set. They keep it on the ground. Again, Gordon. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Holding offense. Still first down. So now the offense is facing a first down and 20 after that last mistake. From the shotgun, it's Rivers. He's got time. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. The good signal callers would never go back in the huddle and play the blame game because they need those guys to protect him. But on that last one, his offensive line, they lost their leverage very quickly, and that's why they were able to get to him and hit him as he tried to throw the football and force an incompletion. Second down, Rivers. And this complete to Henry over the middle. Give him three on the play. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Two minutes remain in a scoreless first half. We'll come back to Oakland after this. A reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll check in with Larry Ridley for highlights and analysis of our first half of play. Not too many highlights yet, at least in terms of scoring plays, that is. Yeah, but hang in there. We might get something these last two minutes. They'll try to capitalize on play number 11 of this opening drive. Third and goal. Third and long for Rivers. To the sideline, and oh, a nice catch there. Made sure the feet were inbounds, and they were. 
And for Gates, of course, 36 now, 36 years old, but 104 career touchdowns. But at age 36, how do they handle him this year? I think that you rest him as much as possible in the preseason. He didn't even dress for the preseason opener. He and Phillip Rivers know each other so well. Just roll him out in game one and turn him loose then. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. Here's Carr, and his first look is incomplete. Latavius Murray, the intended receiver, out of the backfield. Okay, Charles, while well, we got a second here, we're creeping up on the end of August. That means fantasy drafts are coming up. I've got my family draft this weekend. I know my father, Bob, could use some help. Who do you like? Who are you taking? Well, what's interesting to me is how Ezekiel Elliott from Dallas has gotten so much attention leading up to this. But with the, you know, the preseason where he hasn't played much, I want to see if his value goes down a little bit. But I will tell you this, my sleeper at wide receiver, Michael Thomas, oh, yeah. rookie with the New Orleans Saints. Think he's got big upside this year? I think he's got big upside. Drew Brees is throwing the ball. Sean Payton's calling the plays. I, I take a good, strong look at him. Surveying the field. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Corey Legion, he's the one that got to him. He takes him down for a loss of nine. In a play like that, with how far he had to go to make that sack, shows how athletic defensive ends have become in the NFL. And not just athletic, this is coached in a big way. Run to the football at all times. How about him never giving up on it and pursuing all the way across the field? It's a loss of two, now third down. Well, they try to swing it on left into the flat, complete, but really nice open field tackling. And they played that one like a great boxer. They were on their toes on that one. They weren't back on their heels reacting to the play. No, they saw it, came right for it, and made a nice tackle for lost yardage. See an extra DB on the field now for San Diego. Yeah, indeed. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. Thanks, guys, and welcome, everyone, to the EA Halftime Report. Let's take a look back at the scoreless first half of play. Defense has been the name of the game. It's not often you see a matchup where both sides can't find a way to get on the scoreboard. We'll have to see if the offense picks up in the second half. All right, let's get it going. Here's the first half highlights. Moving now to late in the first. Henry's found on the quick pass, and it's going to end up going for a gain of 12. Raiders have the football midway through the second. Carr's completion is made out of the gun, and that connection will lead to a gain of 29 yards. Raiders now later on the drive. Legion's able to zero in on the QB here. This ends up as a loss of nine. Raiders have it later on the drive. Murray's going to look for a gap. He takes off and ends up picking up 12 yards on the play. So that'll do it from here in Orlando. No points in this one yet. But we'll hand it back over to a man who's always on point. That's Brandon Gott. 